this one that I it, it is a tricky one okay so I see a lot of you highlighting right so a developer right like a big company that builds houses right uh, near a lake is wants to make 50 has 50 cottage lots and they can either build basic or deluxe so those are your two variables there a basic cottage costs you 15,000 right the cost is 15,000 a deluxe costs 35,000 they have over a million dollars available that's a budget that they have to build and when complete the developer will profit 20 grand and for a basic and 25,000 for a deluxe if the developer wishes to maximize profit that should tell you okay that should tell you that this is going to be an objective optimization type of scenario where you're going to have to come up with an objective function and so the variables would be x would be the number of basic cottages y would be the number of deluxe and then i'm not going to graph this but i will at least get you far enough so that you can do the rest so these two handouts i would like you to do them by by tomorrow write the constraints those are the restrictions right and inequalities for this problem a chart table may help i don't do charts and tables uh, that's not how i did it this time so basically the first the first inequality is that the deluxe and the basic combined cannot be more than 50 because that's that's how many lots you have you can only build up to 50 cabins all together that's the one you should have picked up there and the other one is the cost right 35,000 for a basic and nope sorry 15,000 right 15,000 for a basic and 35,000 for a deluxe cabin that has to be less than or equal to 1 million and 50,000 that should not scare you okay, those numbers shouldn't scare you at all you have a calculator um, you're gonna find some of you are going to want to use the 20,000 and the 25,000. That's the profit. Is there any restriction on the profit? If you read it, there is none. So this is, I'm just going to give you a hint. This is probably a good suggestion that you're going to use it later on to make your objective function. So you will graph it right here. Watch this. Determine the objective function. At each cor corner point and this this is written poorly you're already packing up five minutes just listen to this okay this should have this should have been written like this write the objective function that would determine the minimum this, these are like your notes by the way minimum or maximum profit that's why I didn't use this for an AC right that's why I just gave it to you that it really the question is just say write the objective function that would determine the minimum or maximum profit it would allow you to determine that and this is how I would write it profit this is where those tw the 20,000 comes in handy right 20,000 for every basic cottage that would be your profit and you'd be making 25,000 for every deluxe cottage that is built. This is what they want, what I want, right? Uh, so that is when, just read carefully how it's written, like in this case, it's profit. What if they had asked you to write the objective function that would determine the cost, the maximum or minimum cost? What would that look like? Cost. And then you go back up. It costs you 15000 for every basic and 35000 for every deluxe. So this is for profit. And this one is for cost. So obviously in this particular case, you would want to state this one. 
but it's possible to state different ones depending on the situation. Does that make sense? I just want to get out of here, right? That's what you're thinking. It's like, I'm done, Mr. Dirksen. You can't put more in my brain right now. I get it. Um, but I wanted you to have enough time to do the quiz to the best of your ability. And so that's why it kind of got a little tight with time. So every day starting tomorrow, there's going to be an AC on some kind of optimization type of scenario. So the key to this one and the key to the second one you got, I'm going to post that and then see how you do, right? Um, and so Monday is our test. So we have the rest of this week to get ready for it. I need you to get faster at graphing because it's going to come down to time, right? So on Monday, let me just check. What day is Monday? It's uh, day two, which means you're right after lunch, right? So come in a little bit earlier. I would say 20 minutes earlier, if you can, give up a little bit of your lunch time. Come in, get ready, sit down. As soon as you're ready, I give you the test, and you can start, right? If you want to come in 20 minutes, I would say max, okay? Don't come, uh, early. I mean, you can come in a little bit earlier than that to get set up, but uh, you won't get it until 20 minutes before, right? Yes, Koda.